Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I have my June favorites for you. I feel like I just filmed my May favorites, so I don't even know how we're here already, but we're here. And today's video, I do have favorites and fails, and it's actually pretty even. I have five favorites, four fails, quite a few fails, right? But these are collective over the past couple of months. So I'm gonna share with you products that I've been loving, products I have not been liking. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop right into the video. Okay, let's start off with favorites first. Of course, I have one skincare favorite for this month and this is the Beauty of Josen Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. So I started wearing this, I think, early June and I just fell in love with it the first application because it is so lightweight it just blends into your skin like as soon as you just rub into your skin a little bit it is gone there is absolutely no white cast and it is just the most lightweight sunscreen I've ever used and I absolutely love it for that so you may have seen the sunscreen go around on TikTok or if you are into Korean skincare then you probably have heard about this one because it's been blowing up and for a very very good reason and like I've been absolutely loving the sunscreen. Although I have some other sunscreens I really like, just how lightweight and comfortable this one feels. It literally like, I think it's like the best one so far that I've used. So I just have been enjoying this. If you've been curious about it, it has my stamp of approval. As for my next favorite, I have a new contact lens that I've been wearing a lot for the past couple months now. And it is from Olens because I pretty much only wear Olens. They have contacts that are not too enlarging and that's what I personally like. But this lens I have here is just a little bit enlarging, just a little bit. The style is the Real Ring Brown and this is a new style they came out with this year. It's also the lens that Jenny from Blackpink is also wearing. But to my surprise, I've been really, really enjoying the Real Ring. It is just slightly enlarging, just like a little bit, but it's not too overpowering. So for me, I cannot wear circle lenses. I can not wear a lens that has a larger diameter. So usually I can't wear something that's like the graphic diameter kind of like in the 13 mm. It has to be like in the 12, so like the Scandi, the Spanish, and the Real Ring I can wear and it doesn't look overpowering. This looks extremely, extremely natural on my eyes. I feel like on camera, it might look like my natural eye color. I don't know, could you tell that I was wearing contacts today? Like from this distance, could you tell? Yeah, I just think it's very, very natural. And what I like about it is that the outer rim of the contact has like a soft border. So it defines your eye a little bit and it gives me like a ying. I cannot pronounce Dou Ying. I always tell my mom like, what is it again? Dou Ying, Dou Yin, Dou Yin, Dou Ying. I keep forgetting. This is why I probably failed Chinese school when I was young. Yeah. But I feel like this is a really great lens for that kind of makeup look. And I've been really into Dou Ying makeup looks. Um, and I think it just caters to that kind of style. I mean, it would cater to any style, but I just really like it for that specific kind of makeup style. It is a really, really pretty lens and I would recommend it. It has not, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite, favorite from O lens, but I would probably say it's like Spanish, Scandi, and then Real Ring. It's top three. And then makeup favorites, I actually only have two favorites for the month. I feel like this month I had a little bit more off time. Although I was still reviewing, still uploading, I was just, I don't know, something about June was just very busy. I felt like I had a lot more time to just do my own kind of makeup, not filming makeup. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, I only have two favorites for the month. So the first one is the Luna Beauty Nude Prism Eyeshadow Palette. So I recently just uploaded my review on this. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave it up here if you would like. But I mentioned it in that video that I got complimented in person. Um, not on my makeup look, just on like this girl just came up to me and said, you look so pretty. And I'm like, ah. And I was wearing this palette while I got complimented and for me like I don't get those kind of compliments like about me It's usually about my makeup. So when that happened, I was like 
it just solidified everything how I felt about this palette. I'm like, okay, it's the palette I feel good in. I love the looks that I get out of it. It is very soft. And although it is a pretty like standard neutral everyday palette, there's just a lot you can do with it. And I really, really like the tones. I like the lighter, muted, romantic tones. And the shimmers are really pretty as well. Like they got some good rose gold shades in here. So I overall just really enjoyed the palette. All the shades were really easy to work with. Has like a huge mirror on the side as well. Like... I guess because of that compliment, it made me love this palette even more and even more reason for me to wear it more, <laughs> if that makes sense. And also for those of you guys that did watch that video and left a comment, thank you so much. I like literally was about to cry <laughs> because you guys are just so sweet to me. So thank you to all the sweet comments that you guys left on that video. But I have been really, really enjoying this. And even outside of my three looks, I've been wearing this palette because, you know, I do have a really, really large eyeshadow palette collection and I'm only one person and I film most of the time so on my days off like the palettes that I'm using on those days off means it's a good one it means that I really gravitate towards it. it means I really love it and a lot of the palettes that I do review sometimes I don't really wear them outside of that review it's like just strictly for the review for YouTube as my job but this one I've been wearing it and I love it and I got a complimented person so that makes it even better. And the last makeup favorite is from M Cosmetics. This is their new powder bronzer. It's the Corsal Lead Sculpting Powder Bronzer. I got the shade Slip and this was sent to me in PR. And although I personally don't really wear so much bronzer these days, when I do and when I want to, this is the bronzer I am going for. It just applies on really nicely. It's very soft and buildable. Um, I feel like I can be quite heavy handed with my bronzers. So having a bronzer that already has a buildable kind of formula makes it a lot easier for me and doesn't make my cheeks look dirty. So this one I've been using whenever I want to apply bronzer, but for the most part, like I actually don't wear a lot of bronzer these days. Like I'm not wearing bronzer today. It's just like, I'm just a blush girl. Um, but you know, there's a time and place for it. There's a look that calls for a bronzer. And when I need a bronzer, I'll be going in with this. And I really, really enjoy it. I am the same shade as Michelle. Like we use the same shade shade and her daydream cushion and everything else like we always use the same shade that I've noticed when she does her tutorials I feel like the shade that she does for like my complexion is just perfect like this is a really nice bronzer shade it's not too warm not too cool it's just like a really nice and neutral tone but it's still bronze but also sculpt at the same time it's amazing like I love the shade all right so I only have a one favorite lip for you and it is a lifestyle favorite I actually got this for my birthday as a gift and I've been obsessed with it and I want to gift it to all of my friends and my mom and like everyone because I think it's just a universal gift and if you have that person in your life you don't know what to get them get them this I think it's just well I personally love it like I I would love to get another one um so it is this little rose flower pot vase i'm not gonna butcher the name of the brand so i'll put it on the screen i'll also leave it linked down below as well but it is fake roses but doesn't that look so real like it looks so real it comes with this pot this vase which is really cute decor i love the black and gold very very fancy looking so pretty much it does come with like a spray I'm sure you can choose your scent, but the scent that my friend got me is Rose and it just smells so good. It reminds me of something from my childhood that I can't pinpoint like what time in my life that I smelt this Rose scent, but it brings back memories. You pretty much just spray the roses. These will last forever and they look so real, right? Um, and I put this actually in our guest bathroom and it just fills the whole bathroom with this beautiful, beautiful scent. So usually I would just like have a room spray and I feel like that typically doesn't last long. But with this, the bathroom smells good, like probably for an entire week. I only spray this once a week, every Sunday, just to like freshen things up. It's a new week and I love it. And it smells so good because our guest bathroom is also my fur baby's bathroom as well. I have three cats. So, you know, it can get a little stinky in there sometimes, but this overpowers their stinky boobies. It does. I'm obsessed. I would highly recommend this. I don't know the price of it because it was a gift. I probably will find out once I find the link, but yeah, I just love it. I would highly recommend. I'm pretty sure it is more of an expensive gift, but I think it's just so perfect. So perfect. Like I'm literally, if my friends or family are watching this, you may or may not be receiving this for a future birthday. 
in the years to come because I think it's just so perfect. But okay, those were my favorites. Let's move into the fails. Dun, dun, dun. So the first fail I actually mentioned in a video I did a few months back now. It was um, hyped up products that I don't think is worth it. And I mentioned this product. I've been meaning to mention it in a fail section, but I didn't have enough fails that I didn't want to like create the section in my favorites, you know what I mean? Um, so I wanted to like gather everything, gather all the fail products and share all at once. So that product is the very, very popular Gisu Honey Infused Hair Oil. I'm so lucky that I got this in the mini size because if I was going to about to blow like 80 bucks, a hundred dollars on a hair oil that I don't even like, my heart would break, my heart would really would break. I probably would just give it away to a friend or family, but I'm glad I did get the mini size because I just do not enjoy this hair oil personally. I don't think it really does anything for my hair. Like positively, it does negative things to my hair. First, it makes my hair even more oily. I know it's a hair oil, but I was assuming that like a hair oil would just give like hydration to the hair. It wouldn't make your hair oily. And I don't apply this to my roots. I know that. I'm only applying it to the ends. But for some reason, it just looks so greasy. And I'm like, I'm not spending money on dry shampoo for my hair to look greasy from another hair oil. You know what I mean? So I don't like that. I don't really like this squeezy thing either. Not very effective. And also everybody says that this smells so good. I'm like, it smells literally like nothing. I don't smell anything. And I'm actually quite sensitive to scents and I don't smell anything from this. Even when I'm applying it, like, like me smelling it this close, like, I don't know, what are people? Like, there's a very, very, very faint scent, but it doesn't smell anything delicious. Like, I've tried Moroccan oil back in high school. That was a stronger scent, and it did smell better than this. Yeah, this one was just a huge fail. Not worth the hype for me, personally. Like, it's just not worth the money. A lot of you guys in that video that I mentioned told me to try Moroccan oil, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get that next. But I gotta finish this first. Like, I gotta finish my products before I get something else. It's just... And it's also, oh, just, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. So the next product is also another TikTok recommendation product. And I also don't really like this either. So it is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. First off, I don't know why I did get this because I don't like squeezy tube. I know you can just get like a little wand and apply it to the lash, but for me, it's just not it. It's not very effective. I find that so time consuming. Application wise, don't already like it, but also the glue itself, it is just not tacky enough. My lashes literally just lifted right away. I think I'm just always going to be a duo girl. Like I love my duo lash glue, um, which I know some people don't like. So this one here is my favorite one from duo. The one with the green writing and the brush tip but this one's always sold out so right now I'm using this one which is the quick set um, strip adhesive so this one has like a plastic one this one I find to be a little bit more tacky I like this one a little bit better but yeah I just like the duo lash glues with the wands over a squeezy tube belt okay somehow I got ink on me that's not good I just didn't find this to be tacky enough to hold down my lashes and nobody wants their lashes to be popping off, right? So this wasn't for me. But the next fail I tested in my recent testing new makeup video. I don't know if that's going up before or after this. I think it'll be before, so you'll probably see it then. But I tried out magnetic lashes. So I'm just speaking magnetic lashes in general. I'm not speaking about this one from Ace Beauty specifically. Um, it's just the one I tried, but I just don't think magnetic lashes are for me. I think these are much harder to apply than regular lashes and going in with glue. When I think the whole purpose of magnetic lashes was to make it easier because it would just stick on right also the liner that it comes with it's just too shiny I just personally didn't really enjoy how the lashes really look I think I'm just gonna stick to the old-school lash and glue good to go save the one that's getting a lash lift tomorrow so I can start wearing lashes 
And then finally, for the last product, the final failed product, it is from 43 Beauty. It is their Bloom Service Rose Cleansing Balm. And the reason why I don't like this is because, you know, usually with cleansing balms, once you take a little bit into your hand and you rub it in, it usually mounts like right away and it literally becomes into oil. And then it's very smooth to take off your makeup and it just glides on. You're not really tugging on your skin. With this one, it doesn't really mount down very like buttery. It's still a little bit stiff for some reason. So I find that when I am rubbing this into my skin and getting my makeup off, I feel like I'm tugging maybe just like a little bit and I do need a lot more product. So even though that this is more affordable, let's say if you were to go with one of my favorites, one from I'm From, the Fig Cleansing Balm, that is more expensive. But from that one, you only need a little bit and it will go a long way. Um, so I feel like in the end, it works out because the amount of this you need to get your makeup off is way more like I've only been using this for a few weeks now and like I dig so much in like I take in so much of this product to get my makeup off and I just don't think it's like a really good cleansing balm like it's not so like oily like it doesn't mount down like butter is the best way to describe it so I did not enjoy this like I mean it does the job like I don't hate it enough where I won't use it and like give it to a friend or family like I'll use it up I'm still using it it's like the cleansing balm I'm currently using so you know you'll see this in my empty I definitely wouldn't repurchase well I actually got this in this in PR but like you know what I mean I wouldn't purchase it with my own money I wouldn't recommend for you guys to get it either I just yeah, I just don't really enjoy it. If you guys do want an affordable cleansing balm, I've tried the Juno & Co one. I think it's called Clean 10. That one is really good. I really enjoyed that one. All right, so those were my favorites and fails for the month of June. I know that there weren't many favorites to share in today's video, but I am testing out a lot of new products right now, and I think maybe in July I'll have a lot more to share with you. I feel like June was just a little bit more of a chill month. I was super busy. It was also my birthday as well. But I would love to know what you guys have been enjoying in the past month or something that you have not been enjoying so we can all avoid it um let me know down below let us know down below in the comments but thank you guys so much for watching as always i love you and i'll see you in my next video bye